Hello, I am Espresso Manage and welcome to episode 7 uh, of the Traveler here and the first season with Bellamina United and uh, yeah, today we will show off some our um, what is it called? Yeah, yeah our youth intake I actually signed, I think it was 9 of the 20 players or something like that so it was a lot of players we signed but yeah most of them are not that great but i thought you've played so let's just go through this we have one place that's spectacular but i will just save that for later i will just show you this place and dale moore not too bad only 15 years old still one star already and he can be even better i don't so yeah, he's maybe something for many 15 year olds, so they have a lot of time to develop. Gary Hunter, a right back here, we don't have too many right backs. He is one star, unfortunately he's just have a free star potential there, but who knows, he might be able, as you can see, we don't have that many uh, right midfielders, so I just signed him as well. Oh. Want to go out? Sorry, there. <coughs> and then we have Creme uh, Creme Wallis. <laughs> what a name! Oh, they all look the same, <laughs> almost. Uh, yeah, he has one star right now. He has some. Oh, wow, he had more potential than Ford. So he is a decent left back. We have as well here. Actually, it's better. So far, not good enough, but he's okay. His mental stats are not that good, but physically, uh, physically, he's pretty decent still. So only 15 years old, and he he has the future for him. As always, the freaking face cam just decide to ditch out or whatever. So there is a diff, and uh, then we have uh, or no, he's not new. He's but oh well, I go forward here. Uh, Mark Chinlin, not too bad, decent technically, 9 and 9 there, and pretty decent first touch, uh, mentals are not that bad, but physical is his main, I think 16 in uh, natural fitness, stamina, he is pretty good there, and uh, balance as well in jumping rate, so not too bad, uh, he is also just 15 years old. Uh, and oh, I did, I did forget to show that two stars, so not two. He is on a championship side, so like many of these others, I guess we could compare to a Connor who have gotten some stars, but he is not really our key play. Okay, there I might actually then get him up there, and he has four star potential, so. Tackling and marking, I guess it could be, possessioning could be better, but he's not terrible still. Uh, heading, I guess, could be better, but still not too bad. Scott, uh, two, two men's, I don't really know about him. He, it was his work rate and his teamwork that did it for me and his flair, his... Just mental stats here, and then he has decent set pieces. He's not really there yet. I'm not too sure about him. He had some eight still, and uh, just like what is that other Scott? He had some uh, actually. He had some. Uh, yeah, had some decent mentals as well. So we will see uh, how many star did he have three but he's uh, so far just three silver stars gary martin probably our best striker right now uh tens eights nines not too bad uh, off the ball is pretty decent ah, it's just his physical is really lacking there and then lastly the player that is Really good. He's already better than my first man here, uh, Gary Thompson. 
so I will probably there we go it all nines and eight so Wayne Mac McCavedry I really like him he has a lot of speed reason speed great determination as well great wishing and I guess decent uh, defensive stats uh, as well were great I mean he can get better but still not too bad and he has actually a good finishing as well there he's already two and a half star so let you show here he's already or okay well I showed the wrong guy that was why now can you move there and uh, okay maybe not actually a little less good but he is better defense better speed about the same vision about the same attack a little less good technical but almost the same aerials is a little less good but about the same mentals as well so he is almost as good at least so <laughs> it's 15 years uh, between them but he's still still already as good as Gary Thompson so that's nice to see so he will just step right into the first team here right now um when was our last match I can't even remember right now I uh, feel like it was a while what is was it Cliff for uh, I can't remember really. Oh no, it was Crusader. It was Crusader and was Linfield there. So we did not really, I believe we did not sign anyone. Unfortunately, our best player, uh, Josh McLaughlin, has partially signed for Clifford, which is just one uh, table position above us. So not the greatest there. We played the match, it was long time between here so play the match against north and one three nil that was good at least cold rain unfortunately one nil a loss luke pierce on there we w we created more for sure but we did not take our opportunities unfortunately defensively i, w I guess we were decent but if you don't says so your chances is difficult to win uh, Pretty, uh, not a great match by any one of the teams, but they uh, went the longest. Oh wow, how do you even say that? Mimisquin? What the? Mark Mimisquin? <laughs> I don't even know. So Ard went through there in the cup, and actually, they, they, it, they actually did not too bad because they actually <laughs> then in the quarter uh, final uh, got the draw in the first match uh, and then away they won 2 nil. so kind of surprising there so they will meet Bel Berlin Maliard in the semi-final and <laughs> they are um, not an Irish level or uh, team so it's still surprising that they managed to win here but kudos to them I guess um, and then we went into the league not too bad we got the draw here against uh, Glen Glen uh, I mean 3D right now actually so behind go low I might just go to the playoff right away and not play the last or the third first they're great gold by Henry there. As you can see by Glenn Woon yeah, I feel like it was even in four or it was sort we were sort of really luckier in the other matches were sort of been unlucky but it evens out because here Glenn Glenavu Glenavon uh, was way better than us. Twenty two shock compared to two shots so pretty lucky with the draw there port down it seems like we do a lot of goals against port down so and this was not uh, any difference from the earlier match I believe we have scored like seven goals 
against them in a, if you count the full season so really amazing there Thompson uh, Kane Brendan Brendan has got some chances here Henry once again scores uh, our first goal I believe he is a top scorer and Paul Bryan actually scored three goals I believe he even scored an assist as well so it was really his best game of the season McCaffrey um, okay, that was not really a difficult goal to score, uh, but still nice. He had just done two before this match. And then we have the corner here, Flynn. So we were, I believe, uh, yeah, they come back in the second half. We were leading 3 0 after just like 27 minutes or something like that. So that was, or 28 minutes there. So that was kind of surprising. Frail. Which uh, got to jump in. He has, he has not played that much. He will probably not stay. Really cleaning finish there by uh, Paul Brayen. I really enjoyed it. He had not impressed me so far in the season. So now he shows that he wants to compete. Uh, and we had so many strikers. So I think it was good uh, as well that we got uh, out from McLaughlin. Because some of these other uh, strikers have... Uh, really complain since they have not got a lot of game time. Institute, we should have done better. I uh, feel like we always draw against this team or we have issue with the, some of the small teams which we should win matches. Again, uh, Brandon, as you can see, he scored, uh, I believe, yeah, uh, four goals in <laughs> four free matches. So that's pretty crazy. Um, so Cliff Wheel, unfortunately, as you can see the table here, uh, we are seven points to Cliff Wheel. So they need, we need to win against them and they need to lose point probably in both matches for us to get up to third, uh, fourth spot there. Glenn Vuan, Coleraine, Coleraine and Crusader seems to be the title fight they're against. Uh, 32, not too bad. We have scored more goals right now. Uh, we shoot uh, second most or equal first or whatever. We scored goals. Uh, crosses could be better, but not terrible. Uh, equal ratio, 9 clean sheets and 26. Yeah, unfortunately we have conceded a little bit more. Uh, I want to still be under 30, but I'm not sure that we will make it there. Um, Andrew Mitchells is a top scorer of the this league. Dean King scored a lot of goals yeah, for Cliff Wilder. Uh, Colin Hender, though, uh, is great on hitting the target there. Um, we don't have anyone there. I don't know if we have anyone else here no um yeah unfortunately he doesn't have that many clean sheets but at least he concede less 16 is still great what did it say there in team overview that we conceded uh yeah he's conceded 16 and the other guy i believe yeah, Hunter is played about positions. So today, uh, also, <laughs> Craig Rice will get the match here. He with 10. Yeah, pretty decent there. Tens and eights and all. So I feel like he might be something for the future. I try to not give... Uh, trying to find a decent replacement for, for McLaughlin. But I'm not sure that we'll find anyone that will be as good... Uh, as you can see, his mentals is incredible, and his uh, physicals are pretty good. I, I mean, his defensive skill, I've seen actually players that are better. As you can see, overall, probably uh, Craig Rice was actually better on the defensive or um, what's it called technical skills. So, Hartley in goal, uh, Jason Johnston, a Flynn, he scored in uh, or in the. Yeah, for to match there as you get to see his he's been better now and he I believe next season he will take a greater responsibility in the team since yeah he will not have uh, 
uh, Josh McLaughlin to fall down on, so he will take a greater leader role. I believe he's even been, uh, yeah, he's 10 actually in leadership, so he will get more responsibility next season. John Graham, uh, we need a better. I, I, I mean, he's not bad by any means, but we need a better. I, I, I just like if we had some that could p compete with him. Uh, Tony Kane, he's our main. He's had the most league uh, matches for uh, Bellamena right now. McKendry, Thomason, McCaffrey, uh, Brandon, and Henry. They're both up front here. See how old they are. He's just 19 still, so still have a lot. Uh, future so 19 and I believe he's oh he's only 80 I thought he actually was older unfortunately he has a lot of injuries it says so I guess that is too bad I will probably not even if I put him up here uh, more. so well let's go to match here and see what we can do uh, let's give you 23 a Sort of my number. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay. It would be nice if we can at least end off decent. Well, he will not get played because he chose to. Go. I would have understand if he would have gone to any of the Crusaders or such. But unfortunately, we still have. Uh, uh, lesser reputation than uh, Cliff will, but I still feel like, why? Why do you move to a team that is one position more than us? We still have a, okay, Clifford probably still are, I believe they still have won the league sometimes, but still, still like, why? Why do you choose to go to a team that's just one position better than us then you could have just rather stayed but I believe he wanted a higher loan and he said that we were not uh, matching up to his uh, ambition which was still kind of surprising still since I done that great and I played him in I believe he's been the player that have started or just in general played the most matches uh, so I don't understand that really. Uh, unfortunate there. And w yeah, we are still doing better than expectation. Expectation was ah, oh, it was not good. Yeah, I do, uh, I've seen a little bit, lower, lower, <laughs> little bit of struggle here recently. It seems like most of the time uh, in football manager I. Difficulty to end the season pretty decently. I'm just Henry and uh, can we Kane or I, sh I should show you how oh, I have not showed you maybe I okay. I'm probably show you Right away in the next but I believe he's almost have 250 or maybe even more league matches So that's not too bad Tony Kane and he scored a lot of assists. Oh Henry there um, do we, we have the possessioning still, and they have just one shot on target. Ugh, I hate this as well, when you, when you have more than one shot on target, but of course you just get to see the opponent's shot. Uh, I will be assertive and say I expect more for you in second half. I, I know there's still Cliff will, but... I feel like we are playing at home, so we should be able to do something more. As you can see in their game, not that great. But unfortunately, we don't have another left back, so that's not good, that great. We need um, left and right back, so I might get someone in. Or maybe a play start with three in the middle. I guess we will see. I'm kind of hunting down one young players. That you probably will see in the next. Okay, Flynn, you're not stepping up, unfortunately. McCaffrey has just been one of the better, though. Um, I think we will just do that switch for now. 
And then we'll see how we he was so unmarked there as well. It was really like, what? Why do you leave him so unmarked? I don't like this. We are now we are just fifth points. I don't seems like they've come. Okay, I uh, know there's still fifth, five points, but if we keep losing, we might even lose our fifth spot, even if we're. Uh, been on that position most of the se season. McCaffrey, Kendry, Henry, Brian, no! McCaverin, Kevry, I don't know. And uh, yes, yeah, you can see there, as you saw in the highlights before, uh, Paul Brand is really on form. I believe he's our third top scorer. I believe it's Colin Henry, then it is uh, James McLaughlin, who I put on loan now, because I thought, why not? He probably will get more matches. Ah! <laughs> why? Why don't you mark the player? Why? If I feel like he is... Okay, the, that was not as bad as the first goal, but still... <sighs> sort of a counter-attack still. <sighs> annoying it's mostly and uh, since we just can put three on the bench I usually just have one defender I think most football manager player that, or that play football manager do about the same so yeah unfortunately our defense is not great here and Craig Rice I don't know he's not match fit either so that's not great uh, what can we even do? What can we even do? I don't know if this will make any difference. Greer is sometimes very creative. I want to say... I don't know, I could be wrong, but I feel like he's very creative. He might have, I think he scored two goals and have done two assists here. Okay, let's go, or should we, let's just take out you and play with three at the back, even if young stones is not his greatest position, but we need to do something offensively here, create something. Let's go overload, I mean we have not done a bad match by any chance, but I still don't like that we're 10 points away now. It's kind of, yeah, not the best there. Brian, Greer, Henry, McCaffrey. Just don't lose, uh, don't lose the ball, I said. Johnston, Hartley, uh, King, White, Foster, White, Foster. Foster, King, Anderson, oh, King, ooh, great save there, oh, well, they have had more clear cup opportunities, but still I feel like we should be able to, I mean, we have still had more possession, and I feel like, chance-wise, it's been about the same. Unfortunately, if you don't take your chances, yeah, offensively we need to be better. Just it's something we need to improve uh, on for next season. But uh, well, I said that this episode would be short, and now I am almost at thirty minutes. But oh uh, well, we will meet in the playoff uh, in the Euro or European playoff. So see you all in the new episode thank you for watching uh, have a good day and uh, subscribe and comment and all this stuff and i see you soon again so bye